For decades, scientists have studied the sun, but one critical piece of the puzzle remains hidden, its poles. These mysterious regions control the sun's magnetic field, drive solar storms, and shape space weather that impacts Earth. Yet we've never seen them up close. Now China is taking a bold step to change that. In 2029, the Solar Polar Orbit Observatory, SPOO, will launch, using Jupiter's gravity to escape the ecliptic and give us an unprecedented view of the sun's poles. This mission could rewrite what we know about our star. So, why does this matter? Let's find out. The Sun is the powerhouse of our solar system, yet many of its fundamental processes remain a mystery, especially those occurring at its poles. These hidden regions play a critical role in shaping the Sun's magnetic field, which in turn influences solar storms, space weather, and even the safety of astronauts and satellites. But why have these polar regions been so difficult to study? Most of our observations of the Sun come from spacecraft orbiting within the ecliptic plane, the same flat plane in which Earth and most other planets orbit. While this gives us detailed views of the Sun's equator, it leaves the polar regions largely unexplored. The few missions that have ventured outside the ecliptic, like Ulysses, lack modern imaging capabilities, leaving scientists with only indirect measurement. This gap in data has prevented us from fully understanding how the sun's magnetic poles flip every 11 years, a process that dictates the intensity of solar storms and their impact on Earth. China's Solar Polar Orbit Observatory aims to change that. By escaping the ecliptic and achieving a 60 to 70 dg orbit around the sun, it will provide a direct, high-resolution look at the poles for the first time. This unique vantage point will allow scientists to track the solar magnetic cycle. The sun's poles control the entire solar magnetic field, which drives sunspots, flares, and coronal mass ejections CMEs. Understanding this process could help predict solar activity cycles more accurately. Map the origins of the solar wind. The fast solar wind which impacts Earth's magnetosphere and can cause disruptions to GPS and power grids is believed to originate from the polar regions. SPO will directly observe these high-speed flows. Improve space weather forecasting by monitoring changes in the sun's poles, scientists can refine predictions for geomagnetic storms, reducing risks to satellites, astronauts, and even power infrastructures on Earth. Sending a spacecraft out of the ecliptic plane and into a high inclination orbit around the sun is no small feat. China's approach to achieving this groundbreaking mission is both ambitious and strategic. The Solar Polar Orbit Observatory, SPOU is, is set to launch in 29 and will use a gravity assist from Jupiter to slingshot into its unique trajectory, something that has been done only once before by NASA's Ulysses. Trajectory and Mission Plan Unlike traditional solar missions that remain in low inclination orbits, SPU will use Jupiter's immense gravity to tilt its orbit to 60 degrees relative to the Sun's equator, this maneuver allows the spacecraft to view the sun's poles directly, a perspective impossible from Earth. The planned timeline of the mission is as follows. 2029 launch from Earth, heading toward Jupiter. 2031, gravity assist from Jupiter, adjusting the orbit to a high inclination path. 2033 plus, continuous observations of the sun's polar regions with cutting-edge instruments. Scientific payload and instruments. To achieve its ambitious goals, SU will carry a suite of advanced instruments designed to capture the most detailed data on the sun's poles ever recorded. These include magnetic and helioseismic imager, measures changes in the sun's magnetic field and internal oscillations crucial for understanding the solar cycle. Extreme Ultraviolet Solar Telescope captures high-energy solar emissions, offering insights into the sun's upper atmosphere and corona. Visible Light Coronagraph and Very Large Angle Coronagraph observes the sun's corona and solar wind structures, helping scientists understand CMEs and their impact on space weather. 
low-frequency radio spectrometer, studies solar radio bursts which are linked to solar flares and high-energy events. X-ray imaging telescope tracks solar flares and explosive events in high-energy wavelengths, revealing the most violent activities on the sun. Alongside these remote sensing tools, the mission also includes in-sit instruments like Solar Wind Ion Analyzer and Energetic Ion Analyzer directly measures the speed, composition, and density of solar wind particles. Magnetometer monitors changes in the interplanetary magnetic field, crucial for understanding how the sun influences the solar system. The study of the sun is a global scientific priority with many space agencies investing heavily in solar missions. China's Solar Polar Orbit Observatory, SPOO, is entering this competitive field at a time when solar research is more critical than ever. How does it compare to other major missions? Key players in the solar research race. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, 2018, flies closer to the sun than any spacecraft in history, focuses on sampling the corona and measuring solar wind acceleration, doesn't observe the poles directly, making SPOO's data complementary. Two, ESA-NASA Solar Orbiter 2020 takes images of the sun at a 33 dg inclination, provides the highest resolution images of solar activity so far. While it offers glimpses of the poles, its orbit is not steep enough for full polar observations. Three India's Aditya L1, positioned at L1, Lagrange point 1, 1.5 million K, from Earth for continuous sun monitoring, studies the solar corona, solar wind, and magnetic fields. Complements other missions, but lacks a polar view. China's growing role in solar research. China has rapidly expanded its space program and its investments in solar physics are becoming increasingly significant. Recent missions like CHASE, focused on alpha observations of the sun, advanced space-based solar observatory, studying solar flares, CMEs, and solar magnetic fields. Now with SPU, China is making one of the most ambitious moves in solar research yet. Unlike previous missions which observe the sun from within the ecliptic plane, SPU will step into unexplored territory, revealing the sun's polar secrets for the first time. What this means for the future, with China's dedicated long-term solar research strategy, this mission could pave the way for better space weather predictions, protecting satellites and astronauts, a deeper understanding of the sun's magnetic cycle, crucial for predicting solar storms. Future collaborative solar missions, potentially uniting global space agencies in new ways. For the first time, we are on the verge of unlocking the sun's polar mysteries, thanks to China's Solar Polar Orbit Observatory, SU. By escaping the ecliptic and observing the sun from above, this mission could redefine our understanding of solar cycles, space weather, and magnetic fields, knowledge that directly impacts satellites, power grids, and even future space travel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.